Very cool, 341 RKI, Rear Kitchen Island here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a Cougar, which is and has been the number one selling fifth wheel for a number of consecutive years. Uh, within their class, I think it's like 15 years they've been on top. Um, it, it's pretty much unprecedented how dominant they've been within their market segment. And for good reason, it does everything it needs to do extremely well and it doesn't do a lot of other stuff that translates into um, uh, a little more manageable weights more manageable price tags uh, everything that matters is here you know uh, we've got some very nice features now this is what you call the big cougar it's got the x-lite little brother somewhere in the family big cougar is going to start to jump up to some nice features like the double magnetic latch doors with the slam latches here so that everything is just uh, you know more easily managed and whatnot you can see that we've got the uh, full pass-through basement storage down here. And what's nice is you actually have full basement decking as well. You've got these nice little flip-up planks right here. So you have like a hidden little tool chest, outside TV hookups. And I love that their little uh, utility accent lights are just touch activated. If you got something in your hand, just the, you know, the back of your hand, you can touch that and activate it. And it's just really nice when you got your hands full. Now, uh, 10,420 pounds, by the way. And if at any point you'd like to know what one of these things is running, all you have to do is click the link that I left you in the video description. It says check for price and availability. That will tell you what we have, how it's equipped, and what we're asking. Because there is optional equipment present here. So the one that we have in stock might differ from this. And there's a very good chance of that. Let's look at the nose real quick. It is a fully automotive painted nose, three layered. You've got your base coat, then uh, double clear coat came uh, out of Keystone's own in-house paint plant, which actually used to be the Newmar Diesel Pusher full body paint plant. Keystone said, we like what you're doing. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> and when you're the biggest cat on the road, quite literally, cougar, cat, see what I did there? Then you have the opportunity to throw your weight around like that. So uh, a couple neat things on the cap. This has a very interesting uh, cap design that does allow for shorter bed trucks to be a little more friendly to this thing, uh, the way that it kind of concaves in on the corners there. Now, uh, your sides of your slide outs are a seal gripping slide wall. You can see it right here. It's got a very rough, aggressive texture so that it pulls your seals in and out completely. You also see that everything on this has that, that full high gloss on the exterior so it looks good it cleans easy and smooth skin does tow better than wavy aluminum uh, skin you know there's nothing wrong with that aluminum skin Springdale over there this is just uh, the next step up in the evolution of things now we do have a uh, one-touch automatic leveling here so uh, again it, it is just as simple as the push of a button to get set up on your campsite we also have enclosed insulated heated underbelly um, this is zero degree rated. Cougars are and have been zero degree rated uh, for a number of years now. So uh, if you are looking for that good extended season use, buddy, you're looking up the right one right here. I would say barking up the right tree, but this is a cat and meowing up the right tree. Just sounds stupid. <laughs> um, the uh, suspension, this rides on a more ride rubber shock dampening suspension to give you good travel down the road. I love the little flip down travel rack on the back here uh, so that you can bring along that extra cargo, like some extra coolers or bikes or whatever. There's always, you can always find something. I don't recommend you strap stuff to the ladder. Use the bike rack, that's what this is for. Uh, of course you can walk all over the roof on this. Um, the uh, flooring, you have uh, two by three aluminum floor studs with, uh, you know, again, the extra layers of insulation below the forest air heating to help you get those zero degree uh, temp ratings. One of the neat things they did is they just moved the water lines and most, it's easy to mount the water lines against the I-beam of the frame. Uh, so what they did is they moved the water lines to be mounted at the top and in the center of the floor so that you're not going to get uh, a, a real easy heat exchange right here. Like, you know, metal, metallic stuff like your I-beam right here, that that allows heat exchange very easily. So if you have a water line on there, I don't care if your tanks are heated, if that water line gets even one little ice cube in it, you're out of business. So you don't have to worry about that. Another neat little detail I kind of zeroed in on on these is they're fully skirted. Most manufacturers, once this radius kind of bends to about there, they cut the skirting. I noticed these Cougars are fully skirted all the way to the I-beam. That's a very rare thing and not a lot of brands do that. You also notice that you have the uh, uh, you know little propane quick connect down here for a little bit of uh, outside grilling if you choose to take part in that sort of activity. How you doing folks? Um, wider 30 inch entry door here. It is on a friction swing so that it doesn't you know slam open against the side of the trailer. And we've got the anti-slip aluminum entry steps as well. Looks really good sitting next to the aluminum wheels. I think it's a nice little touch. Now outside it looks a lot like other Cougars. 
Inside, it has a layout I've really not quite seen duplicated anywhere else. There's some very good things here. I do like that right when you walk in, you've got this little magnetically latched uh, control panel. So it's kind of up out of the way where if you have grandkids or little kids visiting, they're not going to get to it. But you've got a good lighting package in here. It lights it right up and it, it puts some life into that woodwork, you know. Um, they've got almost a little bit of a western style motif going on. And if you like everything in this except the fabric decor, don't get too excited over it. Chances are we've got another one in stock that's got a, uh, a fabric complement you're probably going to enjoy a little more. Oops, got some junk on the camera lens here. Pardon me. Terribly unprofessional. Clean the lens while I record. But I never, I never said I got to where I am in this world by being smart. <laughs> so when you just look at it at a glance, it looks a little bit flat and boxy. But this thing has more cubic foot of storage space tucked away neatly, nicely, out of the way, not interfering with your living space than I think I've ever seen. And it's interesting, they went with a rear wall refrigerator, which is highly uncommon. I think a lot of manufacturers don't do it because it makes the rear wall feel like it's closer inside of the RV. But I see a lot of benefits here, and I, I really, I'm, I'll be shocked if more people don't end up doing something like this. Um, with the rear wall refrigerator, that means that by default, you have to build big cabinets around it. There has to be all this amazing huge storage in here. This is just the rear wall pantry area and really you, you know you've got the one that says pantry then you've but these are this is all pantry space. The whole rear wall is nothing but pure unadulterated storage. Our cabinetry is all screwed together, not staple. You know your, your cabinet doors are all hardwood. They're gonna last. This thing's built to last. That's why Cougar has the best in-class resale. In fifth wheels, nobody has a higher resale percentage than Cougar. It's a huge thing. Uh, when you're the number one, people know your name. You become the name brand. You know, do you reach for a facial tissue or a Kleenex? You know, Cougar doesn't quite, isn't quite synonymous with fifth wheels, but being the number one, they're, uh, you know, uh, they're up there. So your TV, your, in your entertainment area here can can kind of swing out and pivot it takes about two hands here I've only got the one and my wrist is a little screwed up right now So I can't twist things properly, but uh, your, your TV can come out It can pivot over here to the hide -a bed. We'll get to that in a minute It can obviously face your theater seat, which is what I call boardwalk and park place in the entertainment world It can also face over here to your kitchen area So there are some very good benefits to how that's set up as well, but look look at all this start up here in the slide out all huge overhead storage we get to the microwave and then we this is kind of like the, the divider line of the kitchen to living room but we've got a uh, a floor to slide out ceiling linen or, or pardon me not linen pantry space over here and then under the the countertop you can see how this just keeps going you've got the four full extension drawers over there you've got all this extra cabinet space over here under the countertop this has a ridiculous amount of prep space the whole island can be prep space everything back here can be prep space they put appliances in or uh, appliance outlets in here for you like i said you've got seven full extension drawers in this floor plan right here you got floor four right there with three more over here and if I start opening the doors on the island, you see that that whole thing is also wide open here storage. There is an insane amount of storage space here in and above what I already showed you in the rear wall double pantries. And that's a larger 12 cubic foot four door refrigerator freezer. So that is 50% bigger than the standard fridge you tend to find in this market segment. This thing has a ridiculously, amazingly awesome amount of storage space. It's fantastic. And what's nice about it is it, it when, you, when you close everything up, it's just clean. It's neat. It's very unassuming. Like I said, when I first walked in and I saw this, I'm like, okay, it's another, it's another camper. And then I started opening everything, and I realized this has the storage space in the kitchen of like three fifth wheels in one. But when I turn around, I start to see that this thing also has a very nicely set up living space. Uh, I, I like what they did here. By getting the hide -a bed out of the slide, by kicking it over here, they created the opportunity for a more direct entertainment system. And I think that was a really smart decision. And just looking at this real quick, you can see that we've got the nice, um, uh, like what, about 4100 BTU uh, electric space heater in conjunction with the 35,000 BTU central furnace you, you already have. You've got uh, a, uh, what, 39,000 BTU heat system? 
that's again one of the areas that allows them to achieve that zero to 100 degree rating uh all in in one electronics am fm cd dvd bluetooth i mean you know you can easily hook your you know wireless devices up and have a good time there uh, look at that i just kind of nice little pull out sprayer type faucet here that's like nice hardware too that that feels good it's got a good feel quality to it so another thing by putting the hide-a-bed over here when the hide-a-bed opens and it'll open to just shy of the edge of that fireplace you can still walk through the floor plan you know a lot of times when the hide-a-bed's over here when it opens it it like it gets too close to the island and you can't get through you can have the theater seat open and the hide bed and still navigate this floor plan. And that, I think, is a really, really smart feature that not a lot of brands uh, really tie into. The extra window over here letting in a flood of light is awesome. And uh, if you're not into all that, they've got the nicer sort of like luxury fifth wheel level um, slow rise shades as well. Those things are slick. They really blot out the sun. But again, you've got tinted privacy windows already, so people aren't peeking at you as it is. Moving upstairs... They did stick with a very tried and true, tested and proven uh, bed and bathroom arrangement. You've got the double entry bathroom with your porcelain stool there. So you can get to it from the hallway where we are located or the bedroom. The bigger medicine cabinet, I mean, I don't even have the lights on in here. Between the huge skylight above the shower and the shower cascading indirect light over this way and then the little vent fan up there. You don't even need the lights on in the upper deck. It's really nice. Now, what their bathroom arrangement allowed them to do is have good extra storage down here. I mean, you could easily keep some extra towels and stuff right here um, and maintain that second entry door. And something else I look at, little detail stuff, is they've got pretty thick, like, three-inch interior walls. They're not going with matchstick walls. And I think that's part of the reason these things hold together and we don't have problems with them. And a huge shower in this thing. Uh, a one-piece seamless molded shower at that. So there's uh, this is structurally stronger reinforced. You can literally jump stomp in this thing like Super Mario jumping on a Koopa Troopa and have no problems. Um, hopefully I'm not aging myself too much with some of these references here. But again, even if you do need it, good lighting in here. Um, the uh, bedroom, let me flip around here real quick. Bedroom, we've got a, a true queen, 80 inch by 60 inch true queen bed right here. And this is a, a, a fairly nice pillow top mattress. Um, if you have, you know, special bedding preferences, you're going to be replacing the mattress in any fifth wheel. But as far as standing bedding goes, that ain't, that ain't bad. We've got full front storage. This area down here is set for one of those combo washer-dryer jobs, so if you are going to do some extended living use, this is equipped for that. Um, we've got, uh, with the insulation package, it sort of depends, and again, this is one of those areas where the RV that we have in stock could be different. Sometimes we'll add the second air conditioner up here. Sometimes we won't. It just depends on what we have in stock, the floor plan, and who we kind of think each floor plan is for. There are some floor plans that sell better down south or out west as opposed to here in the Midwest. So we build different things differently. That's why I leave you that link down here to show you exactly what we have and how it's built. There's fantastic closet space up here as well. They've done an excellent job not wasting an ounce of anything. And I love the tucked away little power station up there as well. So, uh, you know, once again, like most Cougars, it only does everything and it does it really well. That's the, the one thing I've noticed holding true on all these models. But I tell you, for a combination of living, it, it, like if you want a good living room, but you also want a nice kitchen, usually those two things don't go together. And then, bam, this thing shows up, and you get the best of both worlds. This has an amazing kitchen, and what's nice is you have a defined kitchen, but you don't have, a lot of times when you have a defined kitchen, you have like a peninsula countertop where you're, if you're in the corner and someone else walks in the kitchen, you're like stuck you still have an open, flowing, organically comfortable floor plan that has just a rockin' living room, and you've got a great bedroom and bathroom. This is a new floor plan. It's going to be a bestseller very quickly, that I can tell you. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, hitching, pieces, parts, financing, trades. Uh, we'll deliver this thing right to your driveway. Don't care where you live. Give us a call. We'll put a quote together. You literally have nothing to lose by letting us put a quote together. So... Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.